Savage Worlds, baby. That was good i think that was good i think that was fun yeah that's awesome all right so world championship time who's excited i'm excited this is great i'm super excited all right so now we know all of the teams going to worlds i think last video i talked about the group stages and the possible teams going to worlds um but we didn't know i think we didn't know two and three china three korea and then one wild card team so it's four teams missing now we know all of them super excited all right Whew. Okay, so, oh my god, where do we start? I don't even know where to start. Um, I think the group draw is going to be the 12th, which is, I think, this Saturday. So I might, I guess I might do a video after that. Um, or I could just wait till next Wednesday and see what else happens. But uh, essentially, I think we're, what day is it? It's the 9th. So we're about a month away from Worlds. Or a little less than a month. The world starts October 1st. Super hyped. Um... And now we know all the teams. So the possible groups that we can have are kind of big. The amount of the amount of groups that we can have. I think I talked about it last time. Um, and I think maybe the very first video I did, I said the second video might be all the teams going to Worlds, but I didn't actually know how long it would take for all of them. Um, but now we're done. Uh, other than Worlds, I mean, we had the the stupid promotion tournaments. Uh, the games are really bad. Like the uh, quality of games was so bad. Um, but I guess a big shocker there I can go over real quick was SK get a uh, SK Gaming got knocked out, so they're no longer in the LCS. They're Challenger series if they want to do it. They're a whole revamp of the team, I'm going to assume. Um NA shakeup is probably gonna happen sometime after Worlds. I'm going to imagine a lot of people are gonna be twisting, moving stuff around. Um especially like Liquid, TSM, and Impulse are probably gonna be moving around people. Um uh, maybe CLG. I don't actually think they will though. Maybe hey, I, I could go back and say maybe they might get a different jungler, but I don't think they will. Um, there was rumors of who he getting moved to jungle, possibly doing the same thing they did with Pobelt or on JX Mythy type of thing. Uh, who knows? But, um, other than that, Worlds. We're going to talk about Worlds. So, Worlds 2015 coming in October 1st is starting. Group stage draw is going to be live on the 12th, so you guys are going to want to watch it. I don't actually know when that starts. I should know when that starts. Um, I guess they do, I, I, uh, I guess they are pulling every team. I don't know. I don't know exactly know how they're going to start it. I don't know how they're going to do the group stage pulls. I think they might do. Um, they could do a first four grabs of um, the top tier teams, the number one teams from each region, and just put the like pull one for like. All right, so they'll put all four in like a bag or something, and they'll have like all right. Group A is getting pulled now. Beep. CLG. All right. Cool. Group two, uh, or group B, uh, getting pulled. SKT. All right, you're over there, and then LGD, Fnatic, that type of shit. Um, after that, it gets a little more complicated. So it's like eight teams in, I actually, I'm, I'm really interested to see how they're going to do this because there's eight teams, four of which are Asian teams, which is the two Koreans and two Chinese, both of which can't be, so SKT was in group two or group B and LGD was group C or group three. I don't give a shit. I'll probably say three a bunch. Um, that means you can't have two Chinese teams in group three, and you can't have two Korean teams in group two. Um, that make it possible to have a non-Asian team in a group. I don't think so. Yeah. So it's actually not possible. So it, there is no easy group per se no there's no easy group at all there might be there might there's gonna be a lot of groups that are like three teams could possibly get out and then there's the one bottom team over like everybody obviously um so it makes it a little harder for the wild card teams this year compared to last year even though like this year's world is kind of nice it like reminds me of kind of like L ipl5 back in the day um where the team it's 
Oh, see, that's such a weird comparison because season two worlds wasn't really stacked either. There's a lot of upsets, but season three and season four have been like dominating wins. Like SKT going like what? What did SKT go? Thirteen and two or something like that. Thirteen and three maybe. And Samsung White went fifteen and two or whatever it was. I don't even remember. But um. SKT wasn't wasn't number one from Korea in season three, were they? It couldn't have been because there were still buys. I'm pretty sure. Who was the buy from Korea that year? Was it Najin? Holy shit! Was Najin actually the buy from Korea that year? I think they were because they've gone every year. That's kind of surprising, actually. Najin's not going this year. All right, so teams we got CLG, TSM, Cloud Nine from North America. We've had that for a little bit. Uh, Europe, we've had. Fnatic, H2K, and Origin. Uh, Korea, now we have SKT, Crew Tigers, and KT Rolster. I think I did say that they. I thought they were going to win last week also. Uh, China, we got a little bit of a surprise to me. Actually, we have LGD, EDG, and IG. I was expecting QG and... I was expecting EDG to go through either way, but I was expecting QG over IG. And IG absolutely crushed their face. <laughs> like, it was... Woo! That was a stomp in a million. Um, so there's, uh, and then AHQ Esports from Taiwan and uh, Yoey Flash Wolves. Uh, and then the wildcard teams are Bangkok Titans and Pain Gaming. Pain, the team that's been around top of Latin America, or Brazil. Uh oh. <laughs> On top of the wildcard scene for a very long time and hasn't gone to Worlds yet. So this is their first Worlds. Um, there's a lot of exciting things happening, like CLG's first Worlds in Season 2, um, Cloud9's third Worlds, but first time with High in the Jungle, first time with a different roster, uh, TSM's, I think this is fifth, has TSM been to all of them? I think TSM's been to all of them, I don't remember if they were in Season 1 Worlds yet, it might have been. I think they were. So I think this is TSM's fifth. But after this one, Dyrus plans on retiring. So this is Dyrus's last tournament. Fnatic. Uh, first time going into an international tournament after a dominating split in Europe uh, in domestic region. Um, H2K, first time going to Worlds. It's their first season together as a team also. Origin. First time as a team going to Worlds. First time for Niels. Uh... Fourth time for x Beke and Soaz, I think. So you had Season 1, 3, and 4. So, and now 5. So yes, it's fourth time for x Beke and Soaz. Uh, Mithy is his second Worlds, I believe. And Amazing is on his second also. Yeah, because he went last year at TSM, and I don't think he went before that. This is his second Worlds also. So the team is experienced in its own. Uh, then we have from Korea, we have SKT. Came back also from a dominating domestic season. Um, only losing to only losing one best of three to CJ. And they're not even going Worlds. So, I mean, CJ got crushed by KT. Um, Koo Tigers had a decent run in the gauntlet. Um, it was kind of surprising. Um... No, they didn't. What are you talking about. They came in third for the split playoffs. Third, fourth. So that gave them enough points to be second. All right. And then KT was obviously just the last group in the gauntlet. And they. Janair had a. Janair actually had a really good run through the gauntlet. And then. Like, I think they 3 0'd Najin, which is quite surprising. They 3 1 CJ, I think, or 3 2 I think it might have been 3 2. And then KT was just like. <laughs> Listen, bitch. Uh uh. Not today. Dropping the mic on your act. And then they just shut him out. K KD goes to Worlds. Um, China, LGD. Always been a kind of top team in China. Domestically, at least. Never gone to Worlds, I don't believe. As an organization, they've had success in other like games, but not in League. Um, uh, see, it's hard to judge LGD because they had an okay split both times in spring and summer. And amazing playoff runs, but I think in spring it was kind of different because they just weren't trying. Like, they were holding back on scrim results and other things like that. 
And then summer came around. I think they did almost the exact same thing, except they put themselves in a higher position for an easier spot or whatever it was. And they 3 0 DDG, crushed them. Like, oh, absolutely dominated. I don't know what EDG was doing in the past, like, early playoffs. Maybe this was their whole elaborate plan. Um, and then you have EDG, who had incredible summer and spring split records. Um, amazing domestically, except for maybe the last few weeks, they kind of fell off a little bit right before playoffs. Um, Shit, sorry. I had a little bit of headache before I was recording this. Um, and then they uh, they lost 0-3 to LGD, lost 3-1 to IG. The the eventual third place go uh, or third team going to Worlds from China. Um, then they played. Fuck, who did they play? They played Snake. They played Snake and won that series 3-1. I believe, or it might have been 3-0. I think it was 3-0. I don't remember entirely. It was like last week, and I don't remember already. Um, then they played QG, I think. Yeah, they played QG in the finals. Is that right? No, they played IG. They played IG in the finals again, in the upper bracket finals. Uh, and then IG lost, came down, played QG. And one, so IG goes to Worlds also. So that's IG. Sorry, a uh, rookie was playing incredible. Um, LMS, I didn't pay a lot of attention to, but I knew I knew H AHQ was pretty dominant already. Um, every time I like got the ch oh Lord, got the chance to watch LMS, a AHQ was always on the top, along with TPA for a while. I know they were both going undefeated for a very long time in the split or the season, I should say. Um. And then Yoey Flash Wolves uh, had a pretty decent run through playoffs. I don't think they were really all that high up. I think they ended up playing HKE for the spot, which is unfortunate for Toys, but they got through. Um, and then Bangkok Titans played... Uh, shit, I think they played Chiefs. They played Chiefs from Oceanic and won that series. I don't think it was... I don't think it was a stomp. I'd say the games are fairly close. The wild card teams are kind of, um, just they're kind of met. They're kind of shit. And then Payne, I think, ended up beating. Uh, I think he ended up ended up beating Chiefs also. I think they had to in order to get there. I don't actually remember. I don't. I didn't see how Payne got to Worlds because I, I honestly I didn't really care too much about the wild card teams. It's doubtful that they're going to get wins or even go through groups. So I mean, it in the end it doesn't matter, right? Am I right? All right, we're right. So um. Coming into Worlds, I think a lot of the teams are, I think most of the teams went, are playing on the Korean server right now. It's really weird. You think they'd be going to China when all the Korean, like, Samsung Samsung teams are still over there. And, like, Flame, I think, is still over there. I don't think LGD brought Flame with them. Uh, oh, they did it. Yeah, they did. I'm lying. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Um... I know CLG just got to Korea. C9's been there since they won. I think TSM was shortly afterwards also. Uh, after that... Oh, Lord. Hold on. Uh, I might be doing ranks after this video is done. Cool. Anyway. Um... Ugh, people getting in the way. I lost the train of my thought. I don't know where I am right now. So it's whatever. Scratch whatever I was just saying. So then going into Worlds, October 1st is going to be the groups. Uh, groups Day 1, I think that's in Paris. I'm pretty sure all the team. I think they're going to do the same thing as last year where they do groups A and B and then C and D play later in the week or the week after, whatever it is, uh, in a different, different, different uh, major city. And then after that, we're going to have semis, I think sometime around the... 13th and 14th? No, that's not possible. Group stages would be 13th and 14th-ish. I think a group... Oh, not group stages. Fucking quarterfinals is going to be 13th through the 17th, I think, if I can remember correctly. And then uh, semis is going to be that week after it. And then the finals are going to be October 31st. So the finals is going to be a huge event. I think... I'm pretty sure it's going to be LGD versus SKT finals. I can hope for CLG. And is not going to make it through... Uh, uh, quarters if they go, I think. I think Fnatic has a decent chance, though. It could, like, 
this world is weird because it's not like one dominant team going into it. There's like it's literally a world championship this time. It's not just like League of Legends 2014 Samsung White Champions and others. And random like it's it's gonna be an actual event that I'm kind of excited for I feel like this is gonna be the first good international tournament that we've had in a really long time for league at least because we don't get them anymore because of LCS and shit um, which has its ups and downs that I won't go into because um, I remember like like it's so weird like I, I like LCS but it really takes away from the stuff that we can actually get out of league I know Thorin has talked about this a bunch if you ever like watch his videos Shout out, by the way. Um, but, like, I was, I was watching CSGO stuff yesterday because CLG was playing, and they had just played in, I'll assume what is, like, the LCS for CSGO, the regular season or whatever. They're playing against uh, Mortality, I think. Uh, and they went, like, 1-1 one, one or something. And then almost, like, immediately afterwards, they went to a different, like, series for CSGO and played Liquid. And I was like, damn, that was really quick. Like, where, where, where are these things for League? Like, why don't we have, like... That stuff, <laughs> you know, like I I don't get it, but um, it's okay. It's good for the players. It's definitely better for the players. They get a salary, that type of thing. It's a little more job security, security rather than like tournaments. Especially, you can tell like if you pay attention to CS:GO how Nip is like kind of falling. Um, but um, I don't know. I'm excited. Uh, I know the prize pool has not changed. Uh, I don't think that's a big issue i know a lot of people are complaining about that just because of like you have ti5 who had like 18 million or something like that to the winners and that or uh as a prize pool in general and you have like uh i think smite ended up reaching uh close to 10 million or something like that so all these other games are doing it but they're doing like community-based stuff i think smite's actually going to steam soon uh so the prize pool end up could end up getting a little bigger but um Uh. All right, and then, um, Lord, people are always interrupting me. Jesus Christ, am I right? Like, come on, I'm. Worlds! It's Worlds time, baby! Um, damn it! I lost where I was again. These people suck, dude. They don't even let me do videos. Um, and that didn't do something. Uh, Alright, so then you got... um. Shit. Ah! <laughs> Holy moly! I don't remember! What was I? Oh, I think I was talking about the sizes and the teams. Alright, and then... Like, honestly, this is... I was talking about tournaments, wasn't I? And, like, LCS and shit. I was. Alright, so we're just going to move away from that. Because that's a whole different topic. So we're going to come back to Worlds. And I'm going to say... I think I already said it, but I, I'm pretty sure except Fnatic has a chance to get semis. I don't see Cloud9 really doing that well. Hai isn't a great jungler. Like, his jungling skills is nowhere compared to his actual, like... Shot-calling skills, which are, like... Up there with like everybody, really. Um, I'm kind of excited to see. Uh, um, I want. I kind of want a match. I want KT to be in the same group as CLG. Kind. Uh, I kind of do because I want to see Zion Zion match up against. Um. Someday, I think that'd be a great matchup. I have to say that CLG being number one might actually hurt them a little bit. Um, just because they have the highest chance of getting the hardest group. If that makes sense. So, like, if you think about how the group is, you can't have a Chinese, two Chinese teams, or two Korean teams, or two North American teams, or two New European teams in the same group. So, that leaves, like, four possible other teams that could just end up in CLG's group. So, like, you have even Fnatic's. Like, it can make Fnatic's life hard, but I, I still think Fnatic's the best Western team right now. So, like, in CLG's terms, you could end up with CLG, KT, EDG, and then, like, one of the wild, you, like, Pain Gaming or something. Pain doesn't really matter, but obviously KT and EDG are probably going to go through that group. Like, that would suck. Like, that's a huge possibility. 
Um, like for the North American teams, it kind of sucks because because that kind of group can happen against CLG, and then you can have like in another group you have like SKT, um, IG, TSM, and then like or uh or region, and it's just like well TSM is kind of fucked also like. The NA team is just going to get shot on. And you can have another group of like LD, LGD, two Tigers, uh, AHQ, and Cloud9. Like what, like, what is NA actually supposed to do against these groups? I actually think those groups could possibly happen. Like, those, they, those seem very reasonable groups. Like, that's, that's a possibility. And then you can, and then like, well, that's pro like watch riot's gonna set it all up that's gonna how it's gonna be for na europe fanatic's gonna get like yoey flash wolves what else can they get oh, i guess that can't happen all right so then fanatic could get like yoey flash wolves tsm h h2k can go in skt's group and then you got bangkok titans so it's like that group's, I guess, a little better for TSM if it's if it happens. But other than that, man, it's like, what? Like, yeah, we were screwed. Like these these teams are really stacked right now. There's a lot of talent on all of these teams, which is gonna suck. But I believe, I believe in North America, man. Like CLG, CLG can go all the way. I I believe. I was listening to that speech that I had on stage. I'm watching. Um, I think if TSM show up, they can they can do decent in their group. Cloud9 right now I have a little bit less faith in. I uh, I think if they can hold even in a game in a close game against maybe like one of the top tier teams, I think it's possible that they could do they could take a few games off just from high shot calling and just winning the games rather than like messing around and screwing up not being able to close out. I think it's possible. I don't know. I like it's it's so weird and hard to explain because NA has a like, you could say this is probably NA's best chance to get out of groups this year, but then it's also not, because it's not like there's only one dominant team. There's, like, five or six all in the all in the same tournament. Five or six or seven. Like, the top seven teams from the world are in this tournament for, act for once, and it actually makes sense the way they set it up this time. So you could say it's NA's best chance because CLG is looking great. TSM always shows up. Dyrus wants to show what he can do for his last tournament. Cloud9 has high again, high shot calling if they can go even that type of thing. They can take games off, but it's like, then you have teams like Fnatic. Well, they won't be in the same group, but well, they could be not for CLG, but like you have Fnatic, and then Origin looks really good. They're they're set as the third seed, even though they're they could they are. I would I'd still consider them the second seed of Europe. Then you have H2K. He's okay. They're not bad. Um, they're probably the weakest team out of the the major regions. Um, and then you have teams like AHQ that's been dominating. They did pretty decent at MSI. They made sure that TSM didn't go through groups at MSI, and then you have all all these good teams. Like, there's not just one, and it really sucks. Like, for the Western, te Western teams, it kind of sucks. It'll be a good experience for the teams if they can take this experience and just run with it for the next split. We could probably see a very highly competitive spring split between CLG, TSM, and Cloud9, and then, like, Fnatic, Origin, and H2K. I think that'd be great. If they can take the experience and run with it through next year, like, we could see a very competitive top three. And we could probably see these teams again go to Worlds next year, um, and maybe even do a little better because they 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 can take this and they can just run with it. Even the, even some through some of the patch changes that'll come next year. At that point, it's just adapting. Which uh, C Nine's been okay with, CLG's been all right with, and TSM's okay with. Like they, uh, TSM's probably the slower of the three out of adapting. But I mean, it's. It just gives them a better chance. Just from being in the World Championships, gives you, that's not highly stacked by one team and dominated, that just gives you so much experience going into like domestic games. Especially since they're over there already, they're, they're straight, uh, scrimming with all these other teams. They're, they're picking up some in-game knowledge that domestic teams don't have. Sure, so, so a lot of it will change by next split, or next season. But unless Riot does like some major... Like another major item change or map change, a lot of it won't really. Well, like map movements, they don't change much. They they, they change a little bit because like the base gates and I know after in like season three, after season two, they um I think going into season four, they decrease the bush size for some of that stuff. Some of those mechanics change a little bit, but the overall map movement doesn't really change. So 
that could be a factor too. I need. I mean, this is, this is all high speculation for the NA teams too, because I know High is still going to be retiring after Worlds, and Dyrus is also retiring after Worlds. So that they they already need to pick things up, and depending on if they want to shuffle some more. Um. So I mean, I'm I'm highly excited. This is going to be a great great World Championships. I think. Um, super excited to watch it. It's going to be a great month of October, and then right after that, no. This November is going to kind of suck. I think and I think I am San Jose is in November actually. That'd be nice if it was. Uh, and then you have All Stars in December, which I don't like the format of, and then I I don't want to talk about it again. Um. So I mean, that's pretty decent. Uh. It's pretty decent upcoming games, I think. I think the teams are going to have a lot of experience going in. It's not, unless something really detrimental happens, starting like with scrims or something. I think it's going to be a good. It's, I think it's going to be a good world. I th I think we'll be able to actually t like. Well, shit. I was going to say at least we could tell the actual best team in the world, but we've made able to do that for the past two years pretty decisively. I don't know. I think it'll be close. I think I do think they should try and change some stuff up, like having a third place match or something like that. I think that'd be cool. Um, having more games, like a lower bracket maybe too, would be awesome, but they're not going to do that. It's whatever. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely think it's going to be a better world than the past two have been, especially since we're going to have, like, like I said a thousand times, these teams are, all of these teams deserve to be in worlds. Like I know last year, uh, Najin snuck through by beating SKT 3-2. Uh, when they probably didn't really deserve to be there, even though SKT was also kind of something. Um, went from NA last year. It was TSM, Cloud9, LMQ. LMQ snuck through also. They were just a chaotic. It's Impulse now, basically. Um, Europe last year got crushed. They had Fnatic, who was still good. Alliance was pr still pretty good also, but it got upset by Kaboom. And then SK was there, but they, obviously, they lost their jungler for, like, the first four matches or something like that. For three matches or things, so that 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 just sucks. That ruins the games. I think that was a bad time of punishment for Sven Skirin, um by Riot. I think that was a mistake because that that decreases the the quality of the games. Uh, and China, I believe last year had EDG Royal Club, who's not going. Uzi also said he was. I think I think he said he was retiring for health reasons. Actually, today. Um, so you, they had. Uh, Royal, EDG, and who else went last year? Oh, OMG. Who's also not going this year. I think this is the first major big world since they've been an organization that they haven't been a part of. So I know Season 2, they ha uh, China had World Elite, IG. And I think that was it. I think that might have been it. Who else was the Chinese team? Pick this... No, I think that was it, because I think China and Korea only had two teams at the time. I know Azubu was there, and Najin was there in Season 2. And then you had Invictus and World Elite. Yeah, and then NA and, uh, and EU had the three teams. Yeah, so, so yeah, it's pretty decent. I, I, I don't know. I think this is going to be great. I don't think they decided on a musician yet. For the song, I think it was. I think they did leak that it was Lincoln Park or something like that. I would be less excited if it was Lincoln Park, but I'm not gonna care too much. I'll probably still listen to the song if it's good, just because leak. Hey, 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 you know. But um, I don't know. I think it's gonna be great. Uh, keep stay tuned for Worlds. I would definitely recommend. I know September 12th. Again, I don't know the time. Um, is going to be the group draw. It's going to be live. They're going to show people taking it out. So it's going to be super exciting. Uh, after that, uh, I will have be doing another video Wednesday or next Wednesday. Again, same thing. One week, every week. One a week, every week. Uh, if you like the rest of the videos on this channel, remember to like and subscribe and maybe follow it so you get updates on when this channel will have videos uploaded in other times other than the weekly Wednesday ones that are always kind of random. They're usually around late Wednesday, though. This is kind of normal, I guess. I know, actually, I think the first one was like late Tuesday, early Wednesday. It was like one in the morning uh, when it finally got uploaded. But I think this was—I think this was a shorter video than usual. No, I don't remember. I don't really care. Talking about worlds. I don't know. Um, after that, leave a comment in the section below on how I can improve. Because again, I'm still 
I'm new at this. I think this is one of my better talking videos so far. There's a lot of less of uh, hmm, ah, uh, <laughs> kind of, except for when I got distracted. But other than that, I will see you guys next Wednesday for those who watch. And remember to follow the streams on Twitch as well if you want to catch more gameplay by all of us at the Piltover Scientists. T P S signing out. Boom! Here, let me get this on for you. That was a shit. That was a shit exit. Hold on, we're gonna do this the right way. We're gonna do this the right way, boys. Oh no, it's an ad. Ow! Oh! You're gonna get 15 more seconds. For me to talk about things. So, uh, CLG numero uno. Hue, hue, hue. Brazil's not even gonna make it through. You'll see. You'll all see. Alright, we got this. Are we ready? Oh, you heard that. We're gone, boys. 2015 World Championships.